address extension. For this test, for grade 3, the uh, upper limb is next to the patient, so the shoulder is in a neutral rotation, a neutral flexion, a neutral abduction, abduction. So basically, the limb is beside the patient. The elbow is fully extended, and the forearm is pronated. The rest is in extension. And here, um, the therapist could support the distal forearm, and uh, like for example, like this. And we ask the patient to extend the rest joint. So extend your rest. Okay. If the patient is able to do the movement full there, then this is grade three. Now we move to grade four and five. So for grade four and five, we keep the same position, and now we put the rest in uh, full extension. Uh, like we said in grade five, in T5, uh, the uh, grades four and five are done with isometric resistance to the lump in the uh, position of the movement. So here, the rest is in extension, and I provide resistance and I ask the patient to not let me extend the rest. Let's do it this way. Okay, so don't let me um, pull the rest down. And if the um, resistance is moderate, the maximum that the patient can do is moderate resistance, then this is grade 4. If the patient can exert maximum resistance, then this is grade 5. However, if the patient is unable to do grade 3 to begin with, then we move to grades 2, 0, and 1. And for this here, we can uh, maintain the limb in the same position and uh, put the forearm in a neutral uh, pronation to pronation. This way, the rest extension movement is with the gravity eliminated position. Or we could have the limb just like before across the patient's abdomen. And again, if the patient does a rest extension, it is in the gravity eliminated position. So let's do this one. Okay. So here, we put the rest in flexion. And we ask the patient to extend the rest. If the patient is able to do the full movement in this gravity eliminated position, then this is grade two. And if uh, the patient is unable to do it, then the therapist with their hand, they need uh, to, one important thing to pay attention to when doing certain uh, muscle tests is the substitution. Sometimes patients are, um, are desperate to do any movement with their lap, or um, they don't exactly understand the movement they want, we want them to do, and so they move another part, and it might look to the um, therapist if they are not paying full attention that the patient is accomplishing the movement. But we need to pay close attention so that we are not tricked by those substitution movements. So, for um, rest extension, Especially, for example, if we are doing the grade uh, 2 movement, so it's in the gravity eliminated position, the patient might substitute, might substitute, too many S's, the patient might substitute with uh, forearm supination. So, if I ask the patient to do the movement of this extension, they might compensate by doing, by doing uh, supination. And to the unobservant therapist, this might look like wrist extension, and they might give a grade of, let's say, uh, one or maybe two. But uh, in order to avoid this, we need to pay close attention to the movement, that is the exactly the, one, the movement we want, and uh, stabilize the other segments so that they are not moving with the segments we are testing.